if you're working in Salesforce and creating Lightning Web Component, then it might be a problem that you already faced. When you create a Lightning Web Component and deploy to any org, how you can delete that Lightning Web Component from that org. So in today's video, I'm going to show you two different ways how you can delete a Lightning Web Component from your Salesforce org. So without any further delay, let's see that in action. So here I am in my Salesforce org. The first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to create a Lightning Web Component. For that, I'm going to use the Visual Studio Code. So let me open my Visual Studio Code. Here is my Visual Studio Code. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to create the Lightning Web Component. Create Lightning Web Component. Let's give it a name as Hello World. And let's not do anything. Keep it simple and then deploy this to my org. Deploy this source to my org and my lightning web component is being deployed so now my lightning if my lightning web component is being deployed the problem statement of this video is how can i delete this lightning web component so there are two ways one way or the uh, number one way is you know if you have your entire metadata retrieved in your visual studio code you can do that from the visual studio code for that in your package.xml you need to add you need to add this one, Lightning Component Bundle. Because every time you create a Lightning Component, it creates a multiple file inside the Lightning Component and all together we call this as a Lightning Component Bundle. So this is a metadata API name. So you need to include that in your package.xml and then export the data to your Visual Studio Code. Once you do that, you will find all your Lightning Component under LWC folder, for example, Hello World. All you can do, you can right click on this one and click on Delete from Project and Org. What this comment is going to do is going to delete this lightning web component from the destination org or from the org that you are connected and also from this project. So this is the number one way to do that. There is another way how we can do that. So for that, what you need to do, you need to go to your org again. And you need to go to your org again and open the developer console. So if you open the developer console here, then you need to go to the query editor and in the query editor, you need to type the query. So here is the query that you need to type. So you need to type this query, basically from the Lightning Component Bundle, you are querying the Lightning Component Bundle where the developer name is Hello World. <coughs> Let me correct it. And the most important thing is that you need to select this use tooling API. So let's select that. The moment you select that and execute the query, this is the Lightning Component Bundle uh, record that came to your uh, screen. So what you need to do for delete purpose, select that one, select the row and then delete rows. Uh, it is going to delete one row from the Lightning Component Bundle, select yes and then your Lightning Component is gone from the org. So these are the two ways you can delete a Lightning Web Component from your Salesforce org. I hope this short video is helpful. Please hit the like icon, share with your friends and please subscribe to my channel to get to know about all my upcoming videos. Till then, thank you. Bye-bye.